Alrighty, what is going on guys? My name is Skinny Bone Jones and boy does it feel good to say that again finally. I am back on YouTube after about nine or ten months of being away. Um, it's been a long, a long time coming and it's been a tough ten months. You know, I started college not um, about a year and a half ago, so this is my second year in college. Um, and it's been a tough adjustment for me, so YouTube really kind of fell away. Um, but I'm trying to jump right back into it with some new content. And over the last year, I started following the NBA a lot more. And here I am with NBA 2K18, just released a few days ago, started playing it. And I realized, why not make some videos on it? So this video, we're going to be looking at the Los Angeles Lakers. And we're going to be testing out this year's, the season simulation, if they acquired Paul George from the Indiana Pacers. Now, we know Paul George is currently playing for the Oklahoma City Thunder in a trade that went down. Um, they sent Victor Oladipo and I forget who else uh, to the Pacers for Paul George. But we have heard rumors that Paul George will sign with the Lakers when his contract expires this next coming free agency. But we're going to look here in the simulation and see what would have happened if Paul George came to the team uh, this year. You can see we got our starting lineup there. It's got Lonzo Ball at the point guard, Caldwell Pope at the shooting guard, Paul George running the small forward position, Randall at the power forward, and, of course, Brooke Lopez, who was acquired from the Nets at the starting center position. Uh, so without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get the simulation started into the end of the season uh, while I talk about my thoughts on Paul George coming to the Los Angeles Lakers. So we know Paul George is, of course, a Los Angeles native, um, and that is one reason why people think that he is definitely going to come to the Lakers um, in the 2018 offseason. But besides that, though, Paul George, I think, is a very... I think he's... A great player. I think he's good at the small forward position. He's a good scoring uh, small forward. Um, I definitely think it was a dumb trade for the Pacers to trade him to the Thunder um, because I don't think they really received much in terms of Paul George's quality. But I do think the Thunder is a team to look out for this season with the team of Russell Westbrook and Paul George. Maybe Kevin Durant should have stayed on the team um, and they would have had their big three because we know now that you have to have a big three if you even want to think about making it in the playoffs, especially in the Western Conference. Um, we know just recently, too, uh, Magic Johnson and Rob Palinka, I think is how you say his name, uh, they were charged by the NBA with tampering allegations. Um, they did a whole investigation because they apparently contacted Paul George's camp um, illegally, I guess, and they were trying to acquire him um, and talk about him signing with the Lakers next offseason, um, which I guess is not allowed because he's currently under contract with the Pacers at the time. Um, and so the NBA did find that they were guilty of tampering with Paul George and his contract, and so they were fined $500,000, half a million dollars, uh, which Magic Johnson, I guess, took out of his salary because, you know, half a million dollars isn't much when you're Magic Johnson, I guess. But if you look at the simulation right now, they're actually doing pretty well. Uh, they got a record of... 29 and 13, which is pretty good, you know, for every one game they're losing, they're winning two more, which I think is awesome, and something that I don't think we're going to see from the Lakers this year, oh, they defeated the Pacers, 134 to 92, that's pretty cool, defeating his old team, yeah, I think without a big name right now, you know, they got Lonzo Ball, who's a good rookie, um, I definitely think he's someone to look out for in the upcoming years, not necessarily this year, you know, like Lord Ball saying that he's going to take the Lakers to the playoffs, I definitely don't think the Lakers are going to make the playoffs this year, um, they're probably going to be, I want to say, I think their top might be a 10th seed. Um, and the bottom, I think they're not going to be lower than a 12 or 13th seed um, in the Western Conference this year. I just don't think the Lakers right now have what it takes. You know, the Suns, they're kind of like the Suns, I guess. They've got a young core that they're trying to build around. Um, but it's it just it's not developed yet. You know, someone on the Lakers I actually do think is going to be very underrated is Kyle Kuzma. Um, I know I've talked to some of my friends and they're like, oh, no. Kyle Kuzma, you know, he's just going to be a bust. You know, he was drafted kind of low for a reason. He's not that good. But if you saw his Summer League performance, I he was the Summer League Finals MVP um, alongside Lonzo Ball's Summer League overall MVP. And I think the team of Lonzo Ball and Kyle Kuzma, if they stay on the Lakers, is going to be a very well-developed duo um, in the upcoming maybe three or four seasons. So I do think that is something to look out for. The Los Angeles Lakers, though, have been on the worst losing streak in their in the last five years, um, and it's the worst losing streak that they've been on in the franchise history. You know, they've got 16 championships on them. You know, they've had the likes of Magic Johnson, 
Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, Horace Grant, all those big name guys. Um, and here they are, you know, they just traded D'Angelo Russell away. They got rid of Tim Timothy Mozgov's contract. I do think they need to get rid of Luol Deng personally. I think he is signed to way too much money for his value. And he's not even a starter. But as we get to the end of the season here, we see that the Lakers finish with a record of 51-31. and 31. Stephen Curry taking home the MVP award, averaging 32 points. Lonzo Ball, rookie of the year, 12 points, 4 rebounds, and almost 10 assists, so almost averaging a double-double in his rookie season, which I think is pretty incredible. Jeremy Lin, 6th man. Rudy Gobert, defensive player. Jerry and Grant, most improved on the Bulls. And Dwayne Casey, leading the Toronto Raptors to win the Coach of the Year. Now let's see if we have any Lakers on the All-NBA teams. And it looks like we do not, not any on the defensive. But we do have Lonzo Ball on the all-rookie first team, which I think is going to be expected. I think Lonzo Ball will definitely live up to his name, along with Jason Tatum, as you just saw. I do like him a lot. Uh, without any further ado, we got the Minnesota Timberwolves in the first round of the playoffs. We did claim the five seed. We were a five seed team, which is awesome. We were a playoff team. Uh, let's look at our player stats. But before we simulate, Paul George leading the team, scoring with 21.5 points per game. Brooke Lopez coming in with about 16 points and about 5 rebounds. Uh, Contavious Caldwell Pope running the shooting guard position. 14 points, Lonzo Ball 12 points, and Clarkson 10 points. So not bad scoring overall. Um, I do think it's interesting how Paul George had, did average more rebounds than Brooke Lopez. But Brooke Lopez has never been a huge rebounding center. He's a good defensive center, I think. But he's also been more of an offensive center, which I think is gonna be beneficial for the Lakers but they do need some more defensive presence I think in order to uh, make it to the finals oh and we can see here we beat the Timberwolves four games to zero in the first round close out game here we got 106 to 103 Paul George leading scoring with 21 points four rebounds six assists Lonzo Ball 14 5 and 7 pretty good numbers there for a rookie Jordan Clarkson 13 points Zubak 12 Calgo Pope 10 and so on and so forth and we got Jamal Crawford leading scoring for the Timberwolves. That's interesting. You know, he's like 37, 38. So that's pretty cool there. Let's go ahead and simulate the second round, see if we can make it. And no, we were eliminated. We were swept by the Golden State Warriors, which I think is unsurprising. The Golden State Warriors are a super team. Lonzo Ball, though, putting up 23 points and 8 assists. Paul George following up with 20 points, 5 boards, and 4 assists. And Kevin Durant, Klay Thompson, and Steph Curry all leading with more than 25 points each. Steph Curry 27, Thompson 35, and Durant 36. Kevin Durant is unstoppable. But anyway, let's go ahead and simulate the rest of the playoffs, see what we got. Gordon, Golden State winning the NBA championship, beating the Washington Wizards, which I definitely think is an underdog to come to the NBA Finals. I don't think we're going to see that. I think we're either going to see the Celtics or the Cavaliers going to the NBA Finals. But that was this video. Let me know if you guys like NBA 2K18 content on this channel. If you do, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts of Paul George going to the LA Lakers next season. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And if you want to see more NBA 2K18 content, please let me know. If you're here for WWE, you know, who, see, who knows? Maybe we'll get back into that too. I'm just trying to do what makes me happy um, as I try to get back into this whole YouTube thing. So with that, I'm Skinny Bone Jones, signing out.